The scene is set on New World, and Marco is saying, All right, thanks again for the ride. Shanks replies, You're really not going to join the crew, Marco? Marco laughs and replies, Quit dreaming. I'm way too old and worn out to keep playing babysitter for the great pirates. Shanks says, Hey, it's not like I'm a handful or anything. Back me up here, Beck. Lucky Roo laughs. Marco flies away and says, See you around. Then the scene shifts to Wano, where Luffy says, Seriously, you're not leaving with us? Come on, be a pirate. Yamato says, You probably already know this, but that forest guy was only driven off thanks to whoever caused that immense burst of hockey. Zoro says, Kaido might be gone now, but his absence has opened the floodgates for guys like that to pour into the country. Yamato smiles and says, Can't just abandon everybody now, can I? Besides, I don't think either of us would enjoy our adventures if we were always worrying about Wano. But man, I still really want to be one of you, to be a real crewmate. Luffy says, I guess you've got a point. It would be a load off my mind. Okay, I'll leave Momo and the others to you. Yamato replies, all right. Zoro says, careful, Yamato. Momo has a lot of pride. Don't wound it. Yamato says, I know. I will find another reason for me to stay. Before we move forward, if you're interested in watching more manga videos, you can check out my second channel. The link is in the description below, and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any updates. Then Marco enters and says, Straw Hat, there's a ship nearby that will give me a lift, so I'll be heading off first. As Luffy sees Marco, he says, Marco, you're leaving already? Marco says, yeah. Luffy says, you saved me back in the Summit War, right? I never got to say thanks. Marco says, back then, we all seemed so ready to spring into action. Makes you wonder why, doesn't it, Jinbei? Jinbei laughs and says, that was a while ago. Who could say? Marco says, I'm sure Ace would be proud to see how far you've come. Luffy smiles and says, oh yeah? And Marco says, stay strong. And he leaves the island. Then the scene shifts to Amazon Lily where Boa Hancock is wounded and says shyly, I think I'd better go and marry Luffy. The old grandma says, you always think that. Earlier, a few weeks ago, someone shouts, the gates are down, we're under fire, the Kuja are resisting. A Navy vice admiral says, deploy the new pacifistas, the seraphims should be on the front lines. Then we see the Kuja pirate struggling with a seraphim who looks like a child but is very strong. Suddenly, a marine soldier shouts, Warship spotted, watch the stern. Another says, attention report from the shore, pirates incoming. The Navy alerts that an Emperor crew is here, and it's the Blackbeard pirates. Then Blackbeard is shown with his crew, laughing and saying, I have come for the pirate Empress. I won't let a power like hers fall into the Navy's clutches. A girl from the Blackbeard pirates says, that Hancock, what a gorgeous face. Her head will make a wonderful trophy after I wring her neck. Blackbeard said, you can have your way with her after we take her powers. Vasco Shot interjected, hang on, don't you think we could have more fun with her if we took her alive? As Blackbeard catches sight of the Marines, he punches a crack in the air and snarls, I'm not here for you, fleas. He bellows, get out here, Boa Hancock. Kobe sprints into the main hall, panting, can't say I'm surprised. We expected other pirates of the former warlords. Addressing Hancock, he says, The Navy isn't looking for a fight. If you surrender yourself to us, I promise we'll leave immediately. Another woman interjects, Let me handle this, sister. This hero of theirs is surely conceited. Furious, Hancock retorts, Don't waste your breath. I will never submit to another's captivity. She storms outside. Meanwhile, Teach's pirates are under attack by a small seraphim. Blackbeard exclaims, You're kidding! White hair, brown skin, and black wings? This kid took all of you down himself? The little PX then charges at Blackbeard. He grunts, Damn it! A pacifista brat! What the hell is going on? Struggling to fend off the attack, he finally unleashes his power, shouting, Black hole! The surrounding area is destroyed. The next scene shows Hancock, turning Navy soldiers into stone. Helmeppo and a vice admiral are also petrified. Kobe shouts to the pacifista, Hey, pacifista, stop that. You'll smash the people who have been turned to stone. Stop right now, that's an order. As Hancock readies her attack named Perfume, 
Blackbeard suddenly appears and snatches her by the neck, laughing. I see they don't call you Empress for nothing. Most of the morons on my crew are petrified. You sure got us good. Kobe thinks frantically, what do I do? Everybody's been turned to stone. Blackbeard sneers. I've had my eyes on your power for quite a while. Hancock's voice boomed through the room. My beauty is what makes this power formidable. If you kill me, your little friends will remain statues forever. Whoever inherits my power won't be able to release them. Kobe thought to himself, I knew it. Boa Hancock is far trickier than anyone expected. Blackbeard turned to Kobe and said, Seems like we're at a bit of an impasse, doesn't it, hero? You did me a favor at Rocky Port that made it possible for me to oust Ochoku and become the boss of Pirate Island. If I unhand the woman, do you reckon she would play nice and change everyone back to normal? Kobe replied cautiously, It would be a headache for me if she didn't restore the Marines. Hancock spoke up, I will do it if you two get off my island. Blackbeard remained skeptical. You know, I just don't buy it. The way I see it, if I let go, you would just turn us to stone, right? I honestly don't think any man can resist your charms. This is a real head-scratcher, but I guess I gotta kill you. Kobe shouted, Please wait! Don't throw all those lives away! Suddenly a voice was heard. I knew that Navy would lay siege to the island, but I didn't think the terrain here would get this devastated. Sorry, I am late, Hancock. Blackbeard was shocked. Dark King Rayleigh! Rayleigh, the Dark King, appeared before them and said, Whitebeard's old apprentice, I know it's immature to admit this, but I really don't like you. Hancock exclaimed, Rayleigh! Kobe was also stunned. What? The Silver's Rayleigh? Even the Blackbeard pirates were shocked. Rayleigh took control. Hancock, release everybody that has been turned to stone. I will ensure this de-escalates without issue. Then the invaders will leave the island. I won't allow any funny business. The scene shifted to the present day. Shakuyaku spoke. I am so glad you managed to survive that. It's thanks to you, Rayleigh. Progress sometimes causes new problems. Even the cam belt isn't safe anymore, with Vegapunk's sea stone paddleships out there. The old woman added, Between the Navy's new weapons and Blackbeard's arrival, I thought we were done for. Rayleigh explained, To be frank, we got lucky. Circumstances allowed me to resolve things with my reputation. I have gotten old. I'm pretty certain I wouldn't win a head-on fight against Blackbeard these days. Hancock looked confused and said, From the sounds of it, the Navy is looking to replace the seven warlords with those new weapons. The other girl chimed in, Even after everything, those two didn't have a single scratch on them. It was bizarre. One of them looked just like Big Sis did when she was a kid. The scene shifted to the ship on the river and someone said, Yes, we will be docking at Egghead Port soon. Regarding the kidnapping of Captain Kobe, news spread across the world. Captain Kobe, the hero of the Rocky Port incident, has been abducted by one of the four emperors, Blackbeard. His current status is unknown. And the chapter ends. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe for more awesome videos and let me know which chapter or any other anime chapter you would like me to create a video on. Until then, take care and goodbye.